Here's an interesting question where you need to calculate the final value of result. You are presented with the subroutine where A equals to 5, B equals to 3. Then comes the condition. If A is greater than 5 and B is greater than 3, then result meets condition. Else result does not meet condition. Take a close look to see if you can calculate the final value of result. On my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To find the final value of result, I entered this code into the Visual Basic editor. I am going to put breakpoint where the code is going to stop during the execution to see how the condition is going to be met or not. I am going to launch the code and let's continue. But basically, the initial value of A is 5. An initial value of B is 3. And as you might have guessed, the result does not meet condition. And this is exactly what's going to display it in the message box at the end of the routine. Did you get to the same answer? Did you know why the final answer was like this? Ultimately, this is the test on your logical understanding. The A here is 5, and 5 is not greater than 5. B equals to 3, but B is not greater than 3. So, ultimately, numbers do not meet condition. That's why we get the final value of results variable as do not meet condition. I truly hope your answer was the same and you came to the same conclusion. Here's an amazing question to test your programming skills. You need to determine the value of A after the execution of the program. And you're presented with the program. Initial value of A is 15. Then the logic goes do until A is less or equal to 4. Then we enter the loop. If A is greater than 3, then A equals A minus 2. Else we exit do and then we exit the loop. Because when you finish the calculation, you need to select the final value of A out of four possible choices. Choice A, 0. Choice B, 1. Choice C, 2. And last but not least, choice D, 3. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. I think I calculated my solution, so I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, or you calculated a different answer, please make sure to post in comments. To demonstrate the calculation and logic, I entered this program inside the Visual Basic Editor. This editor is available in any Microsoft Office product like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint or Excel. The logic is the same. The only thing I am going to add, I am going to add a logic to demonstrate the message box after final value of A is calculated. This editor allows us to stop the program by using the breakpoint, which I am going to do on the statement do until. Now, when I click Run the program, the application stops and I can navigate and see the values of variables. In this case, A equals 15. And A meets condition because 15 is greater than 4. So we're going to enter the if loop. And I'm going to continue step by step. And you see that the value of A is going to decrement by 2. Based on the condition, we're going to enter the loop. An initial value of A is 15. But because 15 is greater than 3, we're going to inside the loop and inside the if condition and we're going to decrement A from 15. A equals 15 minus 2, which would be equal to 13. Then the loop continues and we enter the if condition again because 13 is greater than 3. We're going to do another decrement and subtract 2 again and the new value of A is going to be 11. So now you know how the program works. Can you estimate what the final value of A is going to be? Because on my end, I am going to remove the breakpoint and let the program run until we see the message box. Let's do it. You see that the final value of A is 3. Did this meet your answer? The answer might be confusing. So let's run the program step by step again and specifically focus on the last iteration. I'm going to put a breakpoint and run it quickly until we reach the last iteration. Value of A is 13. Value of A is 11. 9. 7. 5. 3. This is the last iteration. Here we're going to do it step by step. Because 4 is greater than 3, we're still going to enter. Because 4 
is greater than 3. We're going to meet the do until condition and we're not gonna enter inside the loop. Our next statement in the logic will be to display the message box where we're gonna show the final value of A. And the final value of A is 3. So the correct answer here is choice D, 3. Did you get to the same answer? If not, please make sure to post your answer solution rationale in comments. Here's an amazing question where you need to calculate the final value of u at the end of the routine. Initial value of u is 21. If u is greater than 2, then u equals u divided by 3. Else, u equals u divided by 7. Take a close look to see if you can calculate and select final answer out of four possible choices. Choice A, 0. Choice B, 3. Choice C, 7. Choice D, 21. Are you ready? If you need more time, make sure to pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution. On my end, I know what my answer is going to be. So I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To demonstrate the final value, I've entered this routine inside Visual Basic Editor. This way, there are no questions that the value is correct. The only change I'm going to make is I'm going to add a statement for the message box, which will display the final value of you. I'm also going to add a breakpoint, so the program is going to stop at this point and we will trace it step by step. Are you ready? Let's launch it to see what the final value of you is going to be. You see that the program stopped and I'm going to go step by step. The current value of u is 21 and 21 is greater than 2. So we're entering this particular part of the subroutine and here we're going to divide u by 3. So the new value of u is 7 and this is exactly what the message box is going to display. Did you get to the same answer? If not, please make sure to post your thoughts, answer and solution in comments. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter, increase your IQ, and to pass any test. If the content of this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. Giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this, and when you tell us, we will deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, please check the description and comments of this video. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to download the materials related to this topic. I really appreciate your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.